What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Coaster John. In the third installment of the Texas Trip Vlog series, we try to visit four different parks across Texas. Those parks include SeaWorld San Antonio, ZDT's Amusement Park, Kima Boardwalk, and Galveston Pleasure Pier. Were we able to accomplish our goal, or did the whole plan fail miserably? You'll have to keep watching to find out next on Coaster John. All right, so we're on our way to SeaWorld San Antonio this morning. We had a great day at Fiesta Texas yesterday, but we're gonna be squeezing in a whole lot of parks in today. Uh, if everything goes smoothly, we're hopefully gonna get to, I think about four parks. So we're, uh, we're pretty hyped for that. And uh, of course, SeaWorld San Antonio, uh, you know, might be, a, might be a decent park, might not. I'm excited to get those credits. Get Steel Eel, Texas Stingray, but uh, stay tuned. So through my Sesame Place slash SeaWorld membership, we actually get preferred parking. I did not know that. Already off to a good start today. So we have made it to SeaWorld San Antonio. They got Steel Eel over there. Uh, Journey to Atlantis, which is unfortunately closed today. But uh, yeah, as of right now, we're drinking our juice. Come get your juice. Our juice. Yo, is that Stinger Thrills? A Stinger Thrills? What? What up? How are you feeling about this park today? What are your expectations? Like a five out of ten, maybe. I don't know. I'm I didn't going. ask you a number. What, what, what do you think of this park? What, what, what would make it a five out of ten for you? That there's only five credits? Yeah, yeah. Interessant. Thank you. He's a smooth criminal. <laughs> Time to get the kitty crate. Can you come here? Sheesh. The things we do in this hobby, it's just, it's just a, such a waste of time. It's a waste of time and money. So, Super Grover's Boxcar Derby, is that what it's called? Kitty credit, always always down to get a credit, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, they had cool trains, like, pretty much themed to, like, individual Sesame Street characters, which was kind of cool, but other than that, I'm glad it's over. All right, so I'm quite jealous of Ryan because he darted up top and got on Steel Eel before apparently there's rides very first, high winds. Rides first, pictures later. Man. Oh my gosh. So meanwhile, me and Taylor and Zach down low uh, holding the bag got totally screwed because, you know, we were, me and Taylor were just sitting on the train and yeah, they, they closed it. We're gonna have, yeah, to, not to mention, gonna have to get it, get it later. Probably the slowest ops. Might be worse than Merlin's man. Have maybe if maybe if they weren't so slow that we, we would have actually got on it before there were too yeah, high of winds. They checked the seatbelt first oh before they God, even checked dude. the lap horse. They even, put, they even lost the lap So horse. we're gonna get the other credits and hopefully get at least one ride on this. We'll see. Also, another uh, gripe I have with this place so far. Um, I would going in, I did not realize how strict their bag policy was. They don't really care about loose articles putting those in the bins, but apparently, if you have a bag. You have to put it in the locker, or you have to leave it with non rider and, and the lockers aren't even big enough for a standard book bag. So. The, the, yeah, the problem is Zach's ba bag is too the, big. The locker's the size of a note card. You can't fit anything Dude, in it. Great Adventures lockers are bigger than that. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't know, man. This place, not going well. Meanwhile.
All right, so I just got a couple rides on uh, Wave Breaker. All these guys got one each. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun little family co coaster. Uh, you know, nice little launches. It would definitely be better with LSMs because they've got the uh, the tire drive ones, which you know aren't quite as good or as intense. But you know, for what it is, it's a lot, it's a really fun little ride. You know, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, some nice theming, a really nice setting over the water. Um, so I definitely enjoyed that. Would have rather gotten Steel Eel first, but uh, we saw it running a little bit more, so we're gonna head back over there. But uh, Zach. What do you think weight breakers? Wasn't bad, honestly. It was like a mini Maverick, honestly. <laughs> mini Maverick, he says. A, ve a very, very yeah, mini Maverick very, very, because I mean, like, the, there was the no airtime. <laughs> yeah, just with the launch, that's it. All right, so my optimism of this park just keeps diminishing. Um, it's closed again. <laughs> Loud noises! Even though it's just a slight little breeze, but we're just going to knock out no, the other not, credits and hopefully... It's not time, it's mechanical. So. Oh, of course it's mechanical. I mean, yeah. you know, they don't even know how to run this ride anyway, so... You know, it's it's whatever. Um, but yeah, we're gonna knock out the other credits and uh, hopefully we can find some redeemable qualities of this park. So we've decided to wait it out on Steel Eel and it just broke down for a third time today, count it. Every time it closes, it's like a gust of wind or like, you know, oh, a little tiny mechanical error and they just shut everything down. Um, yeah, and then they usually run like one or two trains and then they just let people back on. So hopefully we can just wait it out, whatever. Yo, Mako looks kind of weird. I don't know about you guys, but like Mako's looking a little weird today. Oh wait, maybe that's because Mako's actually a functional hypercoaster. Weird. Weird day for, uh, for Mako. Yeah, count them. That is the fourth time that this is broken down. Unreal. I mean, it'll be open in like another five minutes, but like, it's like every other train, it's like, open, close, open, close, broken, working, broken, working, eh, whatever. I don't know. That's my secret, cat. I'm always angry. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! We finally got on it. Fourth time's the charm. Holy crap, I totally jinxed it when I was like, oh, it's gonna be another five minutes. It was like another 20 minutes of waiting. Uh, we finally got on it. Hopefully maybe we can get one more ride. We got back row. Um, I think this ride up had a gripe with me because I rolled my eyes at him earlier when he was saying we couldn't like bring our bag in the station, which I guess is a policy here. I don't really know why we can't just put bags to the side. They don't really, put signs up to announce that very well but so earlier i rolled my eyes at him the ride up pushed it pushed the bar down three more clicks completely stapled me still pretty solid ride i would have gotten way better every time he hadn't stapled me like crazy so i think this is better than steel force however i have a whole lot of bias against this thing because of how bad the operations are how much i got to just stapled just overall how just inconsistent this thing is but hey the, the airtime was there that was some real good like flow ejector airtime I'm sure it would have been ejector if I had actually, you know, gotten some room under my lap bar, but finally got the credit after forever. So now we're going to try and get on uh, Texas Stingray and uh, Great White. But first, Zach, what did you think? Operations are ass. I think literally there's no consistency whatsoever. Waited four times, but besides all that, the ride itself was sick. Airtime was massive. It just, at that point, I thought it was pretty dope. Yeah, I agree. Taylor. A uh, very good ride. Uh, definitely better than Steel Force. I, I, I mean, well, I you got some room. Yeah, I, mean, I, I had to take my seatbelt off. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you got, you got He's just kidding. You got Kids at home, keep your seatbelts on. You got stapled. Man. So, yeah, I got, I got, I got stapled like crazy. So it is what it is. I'm just glad we got the credit. 
I would have been really mad if we had come all, the way, all this way just to not get on the you know, premier attraction here. But uh, you know, solid ride. Hopefully I can get, I can get one more without getting stapled. All right, guys, so I'm currently getting my second ride on Texas Stingray. Definitely a solid little GCI, or actually not too little. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, obviously brand new for 2020, only a year old. Um, definitely a solid GCI. Nowhere near the level of Mystic, but, you know, it's definitely a middle tier GCI. You know, there's, uh, I just sat in the back row. I'm going to try front now. But there's definitely a little bit of airtime, definitely good laterals as GCIs typically have. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is, this is a solid ride, and luckily I'm going to get uh, two rides, so... No complaints here. All right, so unfortunately we waited almost, I think like 35, 40 minutes for uh, Great White. However, that was a solid ride, nice Batman clone. I think I slightly preferred Goliath at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Um, but you know, like that was smoother, um, Goliath was. Because uh, Great White, you kind of notice the age a little bit, but you know, still solid ride. However, this stupid bag policy has just been killing us all day. I had no idea that Ciro San Antonio is just so strict about stupid backpacks, fanny packs, whatever. And the lockers are straight up not big enough for Zach's backpack over here, which has like all of our stuff in it. So it's just been a disaster all day with the with the bag situation where we have to have Zach like sit off to the side, us three ride, and then one of us switch out with him so he gets back on it. But we were waiting in line for like 20, 25 minutes. And then one of the employees came up and said we, we couldn't have the bag and we had forgotten about the policy already. And we were like, well, we didn't see any sign. And you know, like we were, we've already been waiting. So luckily we, we negotiated a little bit. So Zach, how did you get on? I had to wait aside for the first train to go by. Then after that, they had to sanitize it. Painfully slow, may I add. <laughs> and then we finally went back on the back. It was pretty sick. Yeah, so luckily he did get on the ride. Ryan actually got the ride twice. But uh, yeah, so we all got the credit. Uh, we all got as many credits here as we could get. Um, journey to Atlantis is closed, what but. What did you started? Five out of 10? Told you. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was not wrong because this park has definitely been weird, weird policies, one train ops on everything except for Wave Breaker. It's a solid lineup too. Like yeah, I mean, they got a launch coaster, you know, wooden coaster, hyper. But regardless, my one piece of advice to you all, if you're going to SeaWorld San Antonio, do not bring a bag inside unless you're with like an older relative who doesn't like roller coasters or whatever. They saw one bag of any size and they're like, you need a locker. I actually had some pretty high expectations for this park and it really just uh, didn't didn't quite live up to it. Mostly because of that guy right there, stupid steel eel, breaking down like five times. Ridiculous. So either way, don't bring a bag at all costs. Just carry your items. You can have your pockets full of crap and just put it all to the side. But as soon as they see a bag, they're like, nope, you cannot ride this. You gotta, you gotta get off, get out of the line. You know, it's just like, it's just pretty ridiculous. I really don't get that at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ryan just said, is this sea world or, or just, it just world? world. Like, it's just world. We're, cause, we're, we're the sea animals. Yeah, because like, there's, there's not a whole lot of uh, attractions, you know, as far as like the animal enclosures. I know I got a lot of complaints today just because we've had a very strange day, stuff that we were not prepared for. But I do got to say, ZDT's, there's Switchback, baby. 
So we made the about 50 minute drive out to uh, ZDT's amusement park. And there we have the wooden shuttle coaster switchback. So we're looking forward to riding that. It's gonna be a solid coaster. Please, because somebody explain to me how this is the only Gravity Group shuttle coaster right now. The only wooden shuttle coaster because that was awesome. We've been saying it before and I will say it again. This is this has so far been the best credit that we've gotten all day. This is better than everything at SeaWorld San Antonio. Um, I might like this better than Mind Blower. Um, this is I think only my second Gravity Group coaster that I've been on, but holy crap, man, that was something else. I got a lot of room on, under my lap bar. Me and Zach sat in the back row. Ryan, what'd you yeah, think? Holy air time. Yeah. Holy Dude. That first air time, that was crazy. This thing packs a punch. It's awesome. Oh my God. Not disappointed by this at all. Um, definitely exceeded my expectations. Dude, this park is almost like in the middle of nowhere. I can't believe this thing's here. It's awesome. Love it. All right, so I just got six rides on Switchback. Man, that thing is a beauty. Oh my gosh. That is a masterpiece in the middle of nowhere. Uh, look at it go. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of my new favorite wooden coasters. I have not yet looked at my rankings yet to uh, figure out and determine where exactly that falls in my rankings, but that could very easily be top 25 worthy. That was, that was a great ride. Uh, definitely one of my favorite wooden coasters. Uh, and like I said earlier, I might like that better than Mind Blower, so I'm gonna have to contemplate that a little bit, but oh my gosh, that thing was awesome. But guess where we're going next? Guess where we're going next? We're going to Kimo Boardwalk. And of course, Boardwalk Bullet. So that's in Houston, it's about three hours away, so we're gonna be driving there. But that is where you will find us next. On the road again. Just like that, we are at Kima Boardwalk here in Kima, Texas. And yeah, that is Boardwalk Bullet right there. Super hyped for this thing. Some genuine gravity group right there. Let's get it, this thing's gonna be awesome. My 200th coaster. Yo, yo, I, I just got one of the best first drops I have ever had. Oh my God, like I, 
I was literally standing up. Like, you know, at Switchback, I was like, oh, I'm standing. No, no, no. I was standing up on that first drop. I got so much room. Oh my god. I stayed for myself and I actually didn't want to run on the left hill. Oh my god, dude. Somehow, but uh, that's still incredible. Oh, that might have been like the best first drop I've ever had on anything. This, thing, this thing's amazing. All right, guys, so I know I was hyping up uh, doing four parks today and, you know, trying to get over to uh, to Galveston as well for uh, for Iron Shark, but, you know, that closed at 10 and we didn't have quite enough time to uh, get a, a bunch of rides on Boardwalk Bullet and then, you know, go over there. See, the problem was when I was planning this, I thought that was like 15 minutes away from here. It's about 40, so that would have been probably like an hour and a half, like round trip there back. It just wouldn't have worked out tonight, and obviously this is the superior coaster right here. My 200, 200th coaster. That manufacturer has moved up very high in my rankings after that. It is a fantastic ride. But yeah, this baby right here is nothing to play around with. That it has some serious ejector, so many different, you know, head choppers and like uh, laterals and just everything you could ask for in a coaster. Um, definitely aggressive wooden coaster. Kima was very fun. We got to drink a little bit and, you know, had fun down on the boardwalk. This was our long, long day, right? <laughs> Yeah. Long day, three parks, I'm still happy with that. We got, you know, how, how many credits? Like seven credits. We're gonna get 14 tomorrow at Six Flags Over Texas. But uh, tonight was definitely a very fun time. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And of course, just help me keep this channel growing, you know, because I want to do more vlogs, more of everything for you guys. And uh, subscribing and hitting that notification bell, that really helps. But until next time, this has been Coaster John, right on. Oh,